Hi everybody, welcome to Coach Carl's Tennis Challenge. This is session number two. First of all, thanks for everybody who had a go at session number one and sent us some video clips. We saw some really interesting clips. So keep them coming, we're going to give you some more challenges today. Uh, today we're going to look at simple rally skills, how to control the ball and then work with a partner to set up a simple rally. Um, now before we start, I had a few people ask me about setting up a tennis net in their garden. Um, if you happen to have a mini tennis net like the one you can see here, then that's absolutely fantastic. But you don't necessarily need to have a mini tennis net. As you can see as we scan around a bit further, a simple pair of chairs with some bunting strung between them will be more than adequate. So don't worry about rushing out trying to buy a tennis net. You know, you can make do with other, other methods. Uh, similarly, if you haven't got a tennis racket, it doesn't really matter either. Um, you might remember, we used the frying pan first time around. I mean, today we'll be using the saucepan. So, for part of our drills. So, keep watching for that. So, without any further ado, let's crack on. So, first up, today's warm-up challenge, a little footwork drill. If you've got ordinary tennis cones, then that's actually fantastic. But if you haven't, don't worry. We're just using some simple coloured cups down here. We've got a pink cup down here with a ball on, and a blue cup down here with a ball on. So, today's simple drill, three times around the pink cup, then three times around the blue cup, and then return to the centre, back into a ready position. Okay, so, go round, keep your feet nice and close together, try and get those feet operating nice and quickly. <coughs> try and keep your head up. Three times around the blue, keep your head up, and then return to the centre. Okay, have a go yourself. Okay, Edward, today's challenge, you've got to go three times around the pink cone, then three times around the blue cone, and return to a ready position in the centre. If you knock a ball off, you've got to add five seconds to your time at the end. You understand? Ready, steady, go. Well done. So today's body and ball section, we're going to have a look at some simple ball control and how to send the ball to your partner so that you can set up a small rally. Now we could start off with a small tennis ball, but we're actually going to use a bigger ball at first. It's often a little bit easier to control. So if you've got a bigger ball, try that. So effectively you're going to stand in your ready position, hands underneath the ball, turn to the side, and just pop the ball up just three times, two, three, catch it underneath, and then send the ball to your partner. Now make sure when you send the ball, you push your hand out in front of your feet, See the way my hand is laid back and avoid trying to flick the ball. So just push it, end it up over the shoulder, recover back to the ready position. When the ball comes back, catch it again. This time push it up twice, two, and then send again, recover back to ready position. And when it comes back this time, just push it up once and send again, back to ready position. Now this time you don't need to push it up at all, just send back to your partner. And it could come on the other side next time, so be prepared, prepared to turn to your other side and send it back that way so you can see you can build a rally. Okay, we're going to have a little look across the net now and see if we can get a rally going across the net. Okay, so here we are across the net. Send the ball a couple of times to and then send to my partner, recover back to my ready position, wait for the ball to come back. This time when it comes back, I'm just going to push it up twice, and then send it back, recovering back to ready position. And just push it up once, and then send it back. Now we're going to go into full rally mode next time it comes back. So. Send it back, it might come on the other side. So I've got to be prepared to turn to the other way as well. This time pushing it back that way. So send it out well in front of you each time, finishing over the shoulder. Okay, have a go and see if you can build a rally. Well done so far everyone. Let's move on to today's racket and ball section. So what we're going to look at is a very similar exercise to what we've just done, but now we're trying to use a racket and a ball. Um, you'll also see as a little while I'll try and have a go with this with a pan. But let's start off with a racket and ball. So you want to turn to the side, make sure your racket face, the strings of the racket, are going to push the ball upwards. So we're going to turn to our side, just pop the ball up, and just pop it up one, 
two, three, and then onto the base of the racket to send to your partner. Recover back to ready position. Okay, ready for the next ball to come back. When the next ball comes back, try and catch the ball between the racket and the strings. Turn to the side again. Get your racket face underneath the ball. Then you're pushing the ball up again. Two times this time, and send back to your partner. Okay? Then again, this time we only need to push it up once. Then we send it back, pushing it out in front. And this time we're going to do it like a little rally. So when the ball comes in, we don't need to push it up at all. We just send it back. Try and finish over the shoulder. That's it. And build a little rally with your partner. Okay. So let's see if we get a simple rally going now using the racket and ball. So, racket down to the side, strings pointing upwards, simple bounce of the ball. Just push it up nice and simply. Two, three, not too high. Change the face of your racket to point towards your partner. And then get back to a ready position, waiting for the ball to come back. This time we're going two, two, push it back to your partner, try and finish over your shoulder. This time we're waiting for it to come back, we're going to do one, and push it back. And then get ready this time, because we're going to go into rally. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Excellent. See how you get on at home. So we promised we'd have a go with the pan. Let's see how we get on. Remember, the bottom of the pan is like your strings or the face of the racket. So making sure we're going from low to high, pointing towards your partner. But don't hit it too hard. So recovering each time. Well done everybody, hope you enjoyed today's session and having a go at those challenges, let us know how you get on, we really want to see your clips, fantastic set of clips went in last time, so we're really interested to see those and I'm sure we'll be awarding some certificates you know, when we see people taking part. Now, things to remember, a couple of key points, make sure that you get your turn in, keep your racket initially quite sort of low, so the racket strings pointing towards your partner and push from that low to high position, pushing out in front of you. Main thing to do, avoid flicking the wrist to try and hit the ball back. Just push back, ending up over your shoulder, recover back to that ready position. Have a go.